Hello. Welcome to the information security um, presentation for TechCamp for the Advanced Stream. My name is Stephen Jay and I'll be walking you th through some of the activities that we do in the information security program here at Red River College. We have a dedicated information security program, but I will cover a lot of these topics when we take a look at um, information security in the BIT program as well. A lot of what we're going to cover today uses the Linux command almost exclusively. We will do some work through a browser. We'll be using Firefox. Um, but by and large, most of what we're going to do today will be done in Linux. This is the default language um, for a lot of pen testers in the world. So it really does prepare students for the real world of um, information security audits, penetration testing, blue team, red team activities. You should have received an email and already registered for the program. If not, there is a video in the um, GitHub repository in Learn. Correction, in GitHub. The link having been sent to you earlier. Now, this is the environment we are going to be working in today. We're going to be running a connection to Ubuntu and within Ubuntu we are going to be running a lot of the tools that are available for Kali. We'll see shortly that Kali is a pen testing toolkit if you will that gives you all kinds of tools that you can use for pen testing activities, um, intel gathering, what have you. We're going to have Kali running across an internal host only network that works with VirtualBox virtualization in Ubuntu and inside of this virtual environment we're going to be running Metasploitable. This is a purposely built, vulnerable virtual machine designed to be attacked. Um, this setup is pretty typical for pen testing activities, also pretty typical for real world security audits. Often, if you want to check how good something is working, you'll set it up in something like this and you go through the process of validating that everything is set up properly. So, um, let's get to it. As I was saying, most everything is done through the terminal. Now you will notice down here in the bottom middle, you have a little launcher that Ubuntu uses, kind of like um, a taskbar, if you will, for um, applications. There is a browser right in the middle. We'll be using that later. And off to the side, you see this square box with a dollar sign and an underscore. That's the icon for opening up a shell please click on it at this point so we can start taking a look at doing some work. Now what you have here, this is your terminal. 